The great cicada invasion is almost here, and no matter where you go in the state, it will be hard to escape those noisy critters. We know because we've been able to pinpoint where they will emerge. You're looking at an interactive map on our website, CBS Chicago. The 13-year brood of cicadas is in orange, and the 17-year brood in blue. This is the first time the two broods will co-emerge in Illinois since 1803. They're expected to come above ground sometime in May or early June. Am I the only one who's like excited and looking forward to this? I mean, something that hasn't <laughs> happened since 1803. You, a scientist would say that. I'm, 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 ex I'm looking forward to it just as much as a solar eclipse. How about that? I want to know what the recordings from 1803 look like when yeah. they were like two broods. It happened back then. I'm going to go do weather. Find out who was president in 1803. I'm curious. <laughs> Google that for me. I think it's Thomas Jefferson. I think I heard that, but that's, huh. no, that doesn't make any well, maybe that's all right. I don't All know. Right. Let's find it together after this <laughs> weather forecast. Here's what we're tracking. Rain is on the way, and it looks like it comes in late morning, and especially in the afternoon and evening. Some thunder, some downpours is even possible for your Thursday evening. And then as we head towards Friday, we're dry. Highs in the upper 50s. The winds are gusty, though, out of the west, up to 30 miles per hour. That's going to pull in some cooler air for Saturday with 54 for the high. More sunshine, about 58 degrees to wrap up the weekend on Sunday. Okay, next rainmaker on the way, moving through Iowa right now. Now portions of the plain states behind it, some rain. The front's going to bring in some cooler air as well. It's still way out towards the west, so it's going to take a while for it to get here. At the moment, we're looking at a mostly cloudy sky, but dry conditions in Chicago. Notice we have some clearing on going out here towards the far southwest. Clear skies, 55 auto. It's clear in 54 and more. Still stuck in the clouds and looking at mid to upper 50s right now across Chicago. So let's fast forward to tomorrow morning. Here's 7 a.m. We're still dry. Temperatures in the 40s in most spots. 10, 11 o'clock up towards noon some showers start to build in. Looks like most of this is on the light side, though. And then as the front kind of passes on through, both of our high-res models tonight suggesting behind the front, we kind of see a little bit of a flare-up with some heavier downpours. That's 7 p.m. with some thunder and lightning even possible down here towards the south. There'll be some upper-level winds that will kind of get this stuff going. So if you have some evening plans on Thursday, plan on a pretty good chance of some widespread rain. And then by about this time, some lingering showers with the heavy stuff will be out towards the east. We're not expecting any severe weather for tomorrow, but a couple of downpours and claps of thunder. That's in the forecast for tomorrow evening. Rainfall amounts, not impressive. This is the brand-new data as of 10 o'clock as well, maybe as much as a half an inch in LaSalle County, but we're looking at a quarter to maybe a third of an inch in Chicago, maybe even some lighter amounts in northwest Indiana. We mentioned some cooler air on the way. Up going. There is an elevated risk of a frost area wide for Saturday night, and it's possible that even the far western suburbs could even get a quick light freeze as we head into Sunday morning. So just keep that in mind with some cooler air in the weekend forecast, at least in the overnight. So we'll put that rain chance for tomorrow at 80%. Better chances late in the day. Windy 58 on Friday, 54 breezy Saturday, more sun, upper 50 Sunday, and 65 on Monday. And the president back in 1803 was? Thomas Jefferson. Oh, good. You okay. Right. I paid attention to he knew. Something. He was just setting uh, you off. Uh, he no, I really, I thought there. I heard that, but I'm glad you confirmed. Credit Taryn, our director, oh, who good. is, I can't even take the credit for that. Oh, <laughs> good, good. Go on, Taryn. <laughs>